are on the beach in Northern California doing some seaweed harvesting. And this is a beautiful specimen of bullwhip kelp. A very edible and delicious kelp. Especially really good for those people who have hypothyroid conditions. Because the iodine is really absorbable from here. So um, the rule with seaweed, if you're going to go harvesting, you bring a guide with you and if you could do a positive ID on the seaweed, so you look in the book, you see what it looks like, you look at it, you say, okay, I'm positive that's the right seaweed, that's great. You can take it home, dry it, it stores for a very long time. But if you cannot do a positive ID, you don't have a book, you don't know if it's edible or not, here's basically the way it works. If the seaweed is growing, so it's attached to a rock or it's attached to the seafloor, and you can harvest it without being, uh, in a mask scuba diving, then in almost every case it's edible. But if it's just washed up on the beach, the problem is some of the seaweeds that grow in deep waters can have toxins in them that can make you very sick. So once again, the rule is, if it washes up, you positive ID it, great, eat it. If not, make sure you're pulling it off from where it's growing. And um, I. My favorite way to eat seaweed is just like this, fresh out of the ocean. Soft, delicious, mmm, sweet. Melts in your mouth pretty much. Once you dry it, it gets really hard and really chewy. So the way that I harvest this, I take the strands of bullwhip kelp, just pull them right off. This is a little air float that keeps it above the ocean floor. And all these little strands of bullwhip kelp are gonna be really, really amazing. Once they're dried, they'll store for so long. And then you can use this part as poi. <laughs> So what I'm talking about as far as harvesting seaweed goes, if it's attached to a rock or coming, you, this is growing here, it's attached to this rock, so you know it's not going to be poisonous. Some wonderful little starfish down there. And then if you come over and look on this side, we have some more seaweed attached to a rock. And the, so this would actually be an edible because it's attached to the rock and something that has just floated up, you know, you don't know what. That's really like not. So here we have like some it? what looks like lavalier, and this is what they make nori from, those nori sheets that we love so much. Started out looking like this. This one's attached somewhere down there. Fresh nori. does look very purple. What do you think it is? I can't make a positive ID, but it might be dulse. But if you can't make a positive ID? Don't eat it, because you <laughs> never know. It washed up. I didn't actually pull it off a rock. But if I had pulled this one off a rock, I'd be biting into it right now. So this is really my lucky day, because what I just found washed up on a beach is a sea palm. These are the delicious sea palm fronds. So what I'm gonna do is harvest just the tips of these sea palm fronds, and they're really an exotic seaweed. I'm gonna eat a little bit right now while it's still fresh. Mmm. Yummy, nutritious. And look, there's another one that's washed up right there. Still fresh. This one's a little fresher. Okay, we have our bullwhip kelp that we just harvested and it's still nice and wet. And I washed it in the salt water before bringing it back to the vehicle. It's much better to wash the seaweed in the salt water in a pristine or, or clean ocean area rather than washing it in fresh water because leaving the salt on it helps preserve the seaweed. So what I wanna do is I wanna dry it preserve it. So I'll take my kelp, 
and lay it out on trays like this and these are starting to dry already I just laid them here about an hour ago and then believe it or not I take my seaweed and I put it up in the dashboard so the Sun can bake on it and it acts like a dehydrator and in just a couple of days I'll have some really nice dried out kelp that I can store in a sealed bag or a container for years and it'll keep and if I want to rehydrate it and make a seaweed salad out of it I can do that or I can break it up into little pieces and sprinkle it on top of the salad the way it is whatever you do it's a great source of minerals it's a great food it's easy to store which is a key. Sun is on the rise, open